All right, so I'm going to take this opportunity to show off my new uh, patio bog garden that I've made here. So this is um, where it all started was this plant right here. So I purchased this at Lowe's in one of those, um, what they called them, bug biting plant kits. So they came with um, Venus fly traps or uh, different things like that. But this was the one that came with two dormant plants or it was supposed to have. So what it was supposed to have had in it was one of the Saracenia pitchers, so these guys here, and a Venus flytrap. So the Venus flytrap never sprouted, so this is the only plant that I got. But that was enough. It got me excited about um, carnivorous plants, and I started looking into more and more, which got me excited about them. And then I picked up this guy from Lowe's um, in one of the, what they refer to as death cubes. So you can see this really long leaf on this Venus flytrap that shouldn't be that long. That was because it was grown uh, indoors and did not have enough sunlight. So it's got these long stretched out leaves. So since it's been in my care, it's actually sprouted one, two, I think this one might be new, three. And then there's quite a few new little sprouts coming up in the center there as well. So it's done pretty well. So that gave me the confidence to go ahead and purchase some more. So instead of just going to Lowe's and hoping that they would have something, I went ahead and placed in an order with a company called California Carnivores. So I got what they called a mini patio kit, I think. So it was all species that should grow well outdoors on just anybody's deck or patio or whatever. So it was supposed to come with a uh, Saracenia North American pitcher plant, a Drosera, so one of the sundews, and one of the uh, Venus flytraps. So I was expecting just to get a regular um, common species of each one, but what I ended up getting was crazy hybrids and special things that I wasn't even anticipating. So starting off with the Venus flytrap, so they could have just sent me a flytrap like that and I would have been happy. But what I got was Dione, Dione, somebody chime in and tell me how to pronounce this, Dione, Dione, uh, Tiger Jaws times Sawtooth. So if you look at this, instead of having the regular teeth like these Venus flytraps do, they've got these little sawtoothed edge, really cool plant. And I cannot stress enough about how healthy looking these things are. These just came out of shipping. I just planted them like an hour ago. And so they've been in shipping for two days, I guess, overnight at least. No, two days. And they look absolutely great. So then the second plant is this uh, Drosera species. So it's one of the sundews. So this is a forked sundew. Um, I don't know what the, the scientific name of that one's going to be because this is what came with it. So D trifidia, try something, I'm not sure. But what's more interesting is, so it's, it, it should have just been this sundew and what I ended up getting in with it is another Saracenia pitcher plant. And this one's really cool in blood, blood red. So this is the uh, tag for it. So it's a Saracenia Flava times Alata something Brio Perculata times Purple. Um, so yeah, it's a crazy hybrid <laughs> in other words. So, but yeah, it's beautiful blood, blood red little pitcher plant. So I'm really excited to see it when it gets the size of this guy here, how, how it looks. Um, and this one is Saracenia times Red Bug. So it's another hybrid Saracenia species. So yeah, I could not be more happy with the way that this order came out. They did take a little while to ship just due to the um, COVID-19 situation going on right now. But it is an absolutely... Uh, I'm so stoked, so happy about this order because it, it's, it's, I don't know. I, I just really am happy with what I got. 
they all look super healthy they all look really really good i'm excited to see what might pop up in the soil around these species because uh, i know that that's one of the things that they're known for is having just random plants in the pots with what you ordered so yeah i, I am not i cannot be happy enough with the way this turned out so hopefully i'll have an update in a month or two and this will start to fill out and look really really well um but yeah, let me know uh, what y'all think. And if you're planning on doing it, I would highly recommend California Carnivores. Um, they're the only company I've ordered from. Um, but I mean, for the same price that you get this guy at Lowe's, I mean, this guy was five bucks at Lowe's. I don't even know how much this guy was. It was 30 bucks for all three plants. So they're $10, but I've got one, two, three, four plants. Plus these are, um, terrestrial bladderworts down here so i've got like i don't know a ton of different plants for the same price as what you can get these little relatively unhealthy ones that might die on me anyway from lowe's because lowe's you don't know if they've watered them with tap water oh so yeah i guess i maybe should tell us a little bit about how to take care of these so basically you just give them distilled water or rain water you can't use tap water because it has too many dissolved minerals in it but yeah just using straight tap water or no, straight rainwater or distilled water, which is like 80 cents a gallon at Walmart. Um, yeah, keeps these guys healthy and happy. So, like I said, hopefully in about a month or so, I'll have a, an update and these will start looking really, really good. All right, thank you all for checking it out.